Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today we are doing our second video in the elementary physics series entitled Measuring the Magnitude of Force. This activity is in the book Christian Kids Explore Physics by Bright Ideas Press. You will need string, you will need scotch tape and actually we're going to use packing tape because there's no way that an apple will hold with um, scotch tape. We can try it and bruise the apple, but okay. Uh, we're also throwing in a banana, but really all they ask is for the apple and a grape, okay? And it's way too wet. That's the other problem. Okay, so you need to make sure that it's nice and dry. <laughs> okay, now, um, so you get some um, string and you cut it about two feet. Okay, is that two feet? It's about right. Okay, now we will see if we can hang these. Okay, uh, so you need something to hang it from. They say a doorknob. So go ahead and do it on a doorknob. I'm doing it from our chandelier because um, I like it to be higher up. And you tie it and then you get some some tape. Now I'm going to do the grape first so that um, we can see if the grape actually holds. So get a big fat piece of tape. Make sure the grape is not wet and then kind of do that. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. Now the apple, which I don't think is going to hold, but let's see. Go hold this on. right here, Rachel. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Damn it. Stop, 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 stop. It looks like it's going to fall any moment. I know, and imagine how it would be. Let's just see how it would be with a banana trying scotch tape, which is what they said. Let's see what, well, should we bruise a banana? I don't know. That yeah. is scotch tape. No, this isn't. That's scotch shipping. Um, let's do this one down here, why not? Okie dokie. No, we're doing a banana. Let's try to do it with tape and see. I don't know what they expected like that. Okay. Oh my goodness, it works. <laughs> Let's keep this here. Okay, I am I am I am shocked. <laughs> now, we get a straw. All right? And we are trying to push. Okay. So, we're talking about force, the amount of force that's necessary to move an object depends on its mass, okay? And we're saying, because it's elementary, we're saying it's weight, okay? How much weight it is. All right. Now, go ahead and push this with a straw. Okay. So, you push it. It's supposed to bend the straw. I feel the pushing back, okay? This doesn't push back on the straw at all. Now, if you had a, a lousy, thin straw, the way they used to be made, it would, um, it would bend. Okay, now, look at the banana. Look, look how it's bending the bendy part. So get a bendy straw when you're doing this because it shows that it takes a lot of work to, to make the banana move forward. Whereas, this one, if it's just fully straight, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't bend, okay? It doesn't bend the straw because it doesn't weigh hardly anything. So the grape hardly weighs anything. So to push it around does not take very much force. To the banana, you see how it starts bending that one bendy part. And the same, oh, look at that! The banana, it just tweaked it completely. Okay. Apple. So, the banana and the apple, that's what it does. 
So here we have our experiment of measuring the magnitude of force. It takes more force to move a heavier object. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching.